Today we're making a dry salt sample. Uh, salt is an ionic compound made from a base and an acid. The base that we're going to use is magnesium carbonate and the acid is sulfuric acid. Make sure you're wearing aprons and goggles during the practical. You're going to need a Bunsen burner set up on a safety flame. We're going to start off by measuring 20 mils of sulfuric acid using a measuring cylinder. So measure your 20 mils of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is going to be neutralized by the base in order to make a salt. We need to heat up the acid gently to start with. Uh, so only for 30 seconds. So heat that up on the Bunsen burner for 30 seconds. Right. Once you've heated up the acid, then you're going to add your base, our base magnesium carbonate to neutralize the acid. Start off by placing one spatula of magnesium carbonate into the acid and you'll see that it dissolves and reacts straight away. Stir that and keep adding magnesium carbonate until you have reacted all of the acid. And you'll know that you've reacted all of the acid because the solution will remain cloudy and you will start to see magnesium carbonate excess forming at the bottom of the beaker. So you could probably react another spatula into that acid. Okay, so stir that. Okay. And now we know that all the acids reacted because it's remaining cloudy and you can see that there is excess magnesium carbonate inside the beaker. Right, so what we need to do is filter the excess magnesium carbonate using a filter paper. So for this stage, you need to take a piece of filter paper, fold it in half and fold it in half again. Open it up, place that into um, a filter funnel and we're gonna filter our solution of magnesium sulfate and excess magnesium carbonate to remove the excess magnesium carbonate. So filter that, okay. Once all of the magnesium sulfate solutions filtered, you will be left with excess magnesium carbonate, which we can throw away solution of magnesium sulfate and water. We now need to obtain magnesium sulfate salt crystals by evaporating the water. So pour that into an evaporating basin and we're going to put that over the Bunsen burner and heat that up gently. Now this might take about 10 minutes so heat that up gently until most of the water has evaporated. You need to make sure that you don't over evaporate the water, otherwise the salt will start to spit out and burn you. So evaporate the water, leaving some water behind and you'll start to see some salt crystals forming. After about 10 minutes, most of the water will evaporate. Uh, we now have a sample of salt crystals. Um, these are impure, so what we need to do is purify these further. So to do this, we're going to need to take about 20 mils of distilled water. We're going to warm that up gently using the Bunsen burner. So this time we're warming up the water in order to purify our salt crystals further. So warm up some water, about 20 mils, um, gently, so maybe for about 30 seconds or a minute. Heat that up. Right, we're now going to recrystallize our salt crystals. So we're going to pour the crystals into uh, the warm water and we're going to recrystallize them. So you're going to make those dissolve, stir and dissolve the salt crystals. Okay, so we're washing them to purify. So at this stage, once all the salt has dissolved in the water, Okay. We're going to re-filter that using the filter paper, fold it in half, fold it in half again, okay, pour that through 
and we're now going to collect the filtrate which will have pure salt crystals. Okay. And now we're going to put that into our evaporating or crystallizing dish. So once our clean salt solution um, has filtered through, pour that into a crystallizing dish and we're now going to leave that in the classroom to recrystallize in order to get a pure sample of salt crystals. And what you will find over um, a couple of days, this will start to recrystallize and form some crystals of salt of magnesium sulfate. So then we're going to leave them to recrystallize, producing a pure sample of salt.